today. You there? Yes, Judge. Good morning. Good morning. Judge, first case I have is on page four. I have John Bornellis, 11 20 21 8. Okay. Asking for a continuance with a waiver. No objection. No objection, Your Honor. Page seven, I have Jerkita Chingarev, 11 2020 858. We are ready for trial. Dave, you ready? Uh, Your Honor, I have a uh, hearing set. Um, for a motion to take depositions on June 2nd. Oh. Um, Mr. Day, were you objecting to the state deposing your witness? Yes, Your Honor. My recommendation is going to be when we get to the hearing that the witnesses will provide sworn statements in lieu of depositions so we can expedite the trial. All right. Do you have those uh, statements already prepared to, to hand over to the state? I do not judge. I, I can get those done before the hearing date of June 2nd, though. I didn't know what the court's position would be on that. My, if, if you can get them to the state, let them, let them review that. The okay. positions may not be necessary. I'd like to hear what the state's thoughts are once they receive those statements. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, right. So let, let's continue this. Um, let's set a pretrial on the 2nd um, to go with that motion. Uh, and then we'll see, because if, if, the depositions aren't necessary we can just from there set it for trial that's fine all right so um do we know what time that hearing is set it is uh 9 30 on june 2nd all right let's set this for judge can i can i make one other recommendation here what what is our trial cycle well that's just it okay so the the, the trial dates i've got are um Basically, my three trial days that I have available are the 26th, 27th, and 28th of May. Um, then the next cycle after that, I do have access to a jury, but it's going to be the 30th of June and then the 1st and 2nd of July. Okay, so what about as an alternative, Judge? My witnesses are out of town. I will have them drive here Monday or Tuesday of next week for the state's deposition. If we can just get this set for trial. If you're if you're stipulating to the deposition, let's set it for trial. And I'll have them here Monday or Tuesday. The state gives me a time. I'll have them drive down here for deposition, and we'll solve that problem. What do you mean with that, Mr. Asinko? Um, one moment. I, I have to check my calendar for next week. One moment. I, I would object because I, I don't know what's going to come out in the in the in the uh, in the depositions. I, I don't have the sworn statements yet. Um, I I would I would rather leave it set for the second. Um, just this way, I don't know if I'm going to have adequate time to prepare after the depositions of all. There's there's multiple witnesses, and I then I'll only have a few days depending on what I I, I can't I can't uh, I can't guess what exactly they're going to testify to. Uh, and I don't know if I'll have adequate time to prepare after disposing all those witnesses. Okay. He's um, going to do, he's going to do well as a criminal defense lawyer judge. That's our world. Every single time they've taken depositions from us, they've taken everything else. It's tough to prepare without them. I understand. Here's what we're going to do. State's going to take that. Uh, I don't somebody your Honor, I do apologize. There's some background noise. Okay. I, hear. So I, I figured out who the offense was. I'm going to keep muting you if you're going to keep doing that. All right. Um, do, it, do it a third time. I'm going to call you out by name. All right. Um, the state's motion to take depot is granted. Um, I'm going to set this matter for trial on uh, trial call on Monday, the 24th at nine o'clock. This case is from last June. Um, we need to move the case forward. So take your depots. If 
you know, there's something that comes out that gives you sufficient grounds to file a motion to continue of you know, the trial. You can do that next week and I'll consider your motion to continue on Monday, uh, the 24th, if you feel you have sufficient grounds to ask at that time. All right. And judge, just, just so for the record, again, these people live out of Collier County, but I will drive to have them drive here Monday or Tuesday uh, to expedite this is it just all the state has to do is let me know. Let me put it this way, make it happen because yes. I will not grant a continuance in the fact that the state did not make themselves available to depose your witnesses. That's not going to be grounds for a continuance. We're ready anytime. So, you know, make it happen, figure out a way to talk to these folks, either in person, on Zoom, over the phone, however you want to take those depots, but get it done because if something comes out in the course of these depots, it gives you a good faith basis to ask for a continuous, fine. But the fact that you, you know, that you weren't available to take the depots is not sufficient. We got to get it done. Yes, huh? sir. All right. Uh, so this case is May 24th uh, at nine o'clock for trial call. And if everyone is otherwise ready, you know, 26th, 27th, 28th are the trial days. And we'll figure it out from there. Page eight, we have Hallie Delamonte, 11, 2021, 627, asking for a continuance with a waiver. Um, Judge, just one minute. On that last case, um, am I still going to keep it set for June 2nd? Um, no, no. Uh, set for trial call May 24th. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm sorry, Mr. Day. Who is the next case? Uh, Haley Delamonte, page eight. Yes, sir. Uh, 21 CT 627. Go ahead. Yes. Asking for a continuance with a waiver. Okay. Objection. All right. Um, June 16th, nine o'clock. Page 13, Fernan Pera Hernandez, 11, 2021, 2581. Asking for a continuance with a waiver. Okay. This case is from December. Um, Oh, there's a depositions are scheduled for June 7th. All right. Correct, Judge. 16th, nine o'clock. Page 16, David Acevedo, 11, 2021, 647, asking for a continuance with a waiver. State. No objection. June 16th, nine o'clock. Page 23, Mary Beth Lorenz, 11, 2020, 1671. I have a plea in absentia. You want to set a plea date for that? Um, we can do it now real quick, or we can do it on, you know, we can do it on Monday of the trial call if you want to just resolve. Uh, either one you want, Judge, you want to do it Monday? Yeah, let's just do it Monday, Monday the 24th for, for the plea in absentia. Okay. On page 26, uh, Robin Okoski, 11 432 asking for continuance with the waiver. I'm waiting on the state to give me some further information. What kind of information this this is from march of last year uh they're getting information regarding the towing of the vessel which i guess is going to be part of their plea offer but they don't have it yet so your your honor there was um the uh everything was shut down because of covid and they weren't removing the vessel we couldn't get a uh they, they couldn't get a quote there was uh bids out to get a quote to remove the boat um uh, if the defendant wanted to remove it on their own that would be fine um but um, we we were uh, last last um, I had heard from the officer that there was there were bids out uh, to get a, a rate to remove the boat. All right, um, I, I'm I'm setting this for trial. Uh, it, it's it's a it's a year and a half old. Um, May 24th at nine o'clock for trial call. Um, state, you'll just have to make some phone calls. Get it done. That's all I had, Judge. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did we address uh, Stephanie Walsh? I believe we did. Hold on a second. They just didn't click the box. I think. Yes, that's the one you just set 24th, Judge. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stephanie Walsh asking for a continuance with a waiver. 21 CT 680. State no objection. No objection, Your Honor. All right. June 16th, 9 o'clock. That's it, Judge. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, uh, Mr. Snyder. Good morning. Did you call me, Your Honor? 
Uh, I, I I didn't, but since you picked, oh. I'll go ahead and address you. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? Good morning, Your Honor. Um, I have a plea this morning, and my client is in the Collier Jail. Oh, um, well. You want to roll me to the end? I can do it at two fifteen. Um, Today I, at two fifteen. I can't do an in custody plea in this courtroom. I don't have polycom. Okay. Yeah, we could do today at 2.15 if that's okay with Mr. Rosinko. That's fine with me. All right. Uh, your client's name is? Timothy Brennan. All right. Two cases. 21 mm -hmm. CP 62 20 MM 1658. Um, all right. Lisa, could you put both of these on the 2.15 docket today, please? Yes, Judge. All right. Okay. I'll see you then. See you then. Thank you. Um, I can see why why she heard Bryant. I did say Schneider though, Mr. Schneider. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Judge. <laughs> I've got Christopher Carter, Judge. Case number. If I can find it. Twenty CT six zero seven. Judge, I'm ready for trial on two of the three days. The third day, the twenty eighth, I have my daughter's graduation, and they've scheduled it at nine in the morning. Oh, all right. Yeah. Wait, two the graduation is taking two days? No, no, no. I'm ready on the twenty sixth. I'm ready on the twenty sixth and the twenty seventh. Graduation is the twenty eighth at nine AM. Okay. Um Yeah, because man, graduations, I knew they 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 took a long time. They could drag out, but jeez. Um, I hope not in the sun. It's outdoors at the Naples Five football stadium. Oh wow. All right. Um Okay, so so you would otherwise be available the 26th and 27th, but the graduation is on the 28th. Correct. All right, State, are you ready for trial? One moment, Your Honor. I'm verifying my witness availability. Because Mr. Schneider, if, if if this is a case that goes, remind me on Monday the 24th. On the 24th, I, I was planning on it. Yeah, remind me of that. I'll, I'll make sure that your trial would start on Wednesday if yours is the one that goes, and that way, it, you know, just in case we roll into a second day, you don't get stuck. I appreciate that. Otherwise, my ex-wife would murder me, and then, you know, that would be complicated. <laughs> it would, would complicate things a little bit, yes. <laughs> your Honor, um, the state is ready for trial. Very well. Let's set up a trial call on uh, May the 24th, 9 o'clock. Um, and like I said, just remind me of your obligation and, you know, as, as things stack up, uh, I'll make sure that if yours is going to go, that it goes it, from the ones that starts on Wednesday. Okay. Thank you, judge. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. Mr. Carney, Adam Carney. Good morning. Morning, Your Honor. Adam Carney, Verde Rama Law. We've got a few cases on the docket. Um, Edwin Vasquez, 19 CT 2464. We're ready for trial on that one, Judge. Okay, ready? One moment, Your Honor, while I'm checking availability. Mr. Singer, just a thought. This is something you could check, you know, before court. Yeah, I'm just, I just want to double check and verify. I just, uh, I have, uh, just, I don't want to miss one. If you want to, uh... no, just if it's something you can do before court, make a list of which ones you have witness availability and which ones you don't. I, I do have my list of, of witness availability. I just like to, to double check and verify. Okay. I, 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 I wouldn't want to not have someone available and not be able to proceed to trial. Um, I am available, Your Honor. All right. Uh, May 24th, 9 o'clock. Next. Uh, next in the docket, uh, Cristobal Martinez, 20 CT 1337. And we're ready on that one as well, Judge. Okay.
Yes, Your Honor. We are ready for trial. May 24th, 9 o'clock, trial. All right, next one. Next one, Judge uh, Mariana Lachetti, 20 CT 428. We're asking for one final continuance of the waiver. All right, what's the reason? Uh, notes here say that uh, we've been trying to get uh, Ms. Lachetti in, but she's been ill uh, to discuss the case with her. Um, so. All right, no objection. No objection, Your Honor. Right. Final continuance. June 16th, 9 o'clock. Okay. Uh, next one, Joshua Gonzalez, 21 CT 281. I believe this is the second time up. We've got a the formal for uh, that we're going to complete on June 4th. So if we just get another continuance of the waiver. No objection. No objection, Your Honor. June 16th, 9 o'clock. Final, we've uh, Dean Arnold, 20 CT 644 and 20 MM 1955. On the 1955 case, we were just provided additional discovery from the FWC and we'll be filing a motion to suppress in the 644 case. We'd like to keep them all together, Judge. So if we can just get a continuance uh, with a waiver on that. All right. No objection? No objection. What, what is what is what, what have you just been getting that is that is you know, suddenly developing in this case? And Sorry, not, I'm, not March, I'm, I'm, of, March of 2020. On the March 2020 case, uh, Judge, that it wasn't on the March 2020 case that we received additional discovery. It's on the. Uh, the 1955 case, which is the November case. All right, but you said in the March I, of it was the 20 CT 644, that's when you're you're now filing a motion to suppress, is that right? Correct, Judge. Uh, State, are you otherwise ready? Um, one moment, Your Honor. I'm getting a lot of feedback on both ends, like every other word out of you guys. Uh, Mr. Carney, what I can do okay. is the motion filed. I've got two days um, pretty open the week, you know, the week of my trial week. Um, okay. The motion to suppress, you know, Monday the 24th or Tuesday the 25th. And depending on how that goes, we could then proceed to trial if everyone's otherwise ready. Okay. I'll make that note for the file. We'll get a file, Judge. All right. Um, but Mr. Rosinko, I just go ahead and check and make sure you're ready. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Your Honor, um, I do have an officer out on FMLA um from march march until june 19th uh she's out all right mr carney you got your continuance <laughs> fucked out huh yes all right uh both cases june 16th nine o'clock thank you judge have a great day uh folks just so you know this is not just me i'm uh, the supreme court you're on may i jump in please i'm heading into trial uh, i don't know who's saying that it's attorney Michael Kamadek on behalf of Mr. T. Piano, MM. Yeah. Um, but you're going to have to apologize, Your Honor. You're going to have to get yourself somewhere where there's a better signal first. Um, so let me do this. I also got a request from Mr. He said he had another matter he had to attend in about 10 minutes. Let me address Mr. O'Brien real quick first. And Mr. Kamadek, if you just get, just get a better Absolutely. signal, I'll play next, okay? Absolutely. All right. All right. Yeah. And as I was saying, everyone, I'm, I'm I'm starting to push because we perfectly blunt. The Supreme Court has told us we need to. Um, they have given us a directive that it's going to turn me into the other case. All right, so uh, Mr. Ryan, I've got 20MM1085. Good morning, Judge. Aaron O'Brien on behalf of Brandon Anderson. Judge, last time we were here, uh, I told the court we had a plea agreement that called for my client paying restitution ahead of the entry of the plea um i hate to use the phrase but the check is in the mail 
uh, on the way to, uh, I sent a trust account check to the victim uh, just yesterday. So I think that will be paid and we'll be ready to enter the plea very soon. I know you've got that May 24th date, but I'm in uh, in-person trial call on that day. Could we set this for a, a plea in absentia or a different in-person plea date? Yes, I can do that. Great. Because I've got the, the following week, I think I might have a, a criminal docket. I think June the 2nd, uh, I have a, a criminal docket. Let's we'll check in. Okay. And is that, is that too soon or is that date work for you? That date should work, Judge. I, I believe it'll all be resolved then, yes. Okay. Uh, Right now, there was just that another motion, but um, I've got that set open right now as a criminal docket. How about June second at um, at nine thirty? Yes, sir. June second, nine thirty. That'll work for in person plea. Yeah, Mr. Sinko, does that work for you? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Very good. Great. Thank you for calling me, Judge. I appreciate it. No problem, sir. Have a good day. Have a good day. All right, uh, Mr. Kamadeko, uh, how how's your signal? I hope it goes a little bit better for you. <laughs> I apologize, Your Honor. We'll, we'll try our best. Um, I'm just asking. For, I'm just asking for a continuance with the waiver, and then I'll set up an in-person plea date with uh, the state and your staff. All right. Oh dear. Hold on. I just I just closed down my docket. Sorry. I apologize for the inconvenience. No, it's no problem. All right, so this is uh, Nicola DiPiano, 21MM39. You're just asking for a continuance? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. No objection. All right. Um, June 16th, 9 o'clock. Thank you. Have Bye. a good day, sir. Thank you again. Okay. And Mr. Brown, you also, uh, it's a request and dedications. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Casey Kasem, Judge. Um, yeah, and I'll, and I'll be quick. I appreciate it. I have Marvin Mendoza Perez, 21 CT 677. Okay. In that case, I'm requesting a continuance with a waiver. Um, I want to get with Mr. Rosinko and ask if he would do an AIR for uh, dispatch logs in that case. There may be an issue with the stop. All right. Say no objection. No objection. Uh, June 16th, 9 o'clock with a waiver. And then uh, Owen Sheen, 21 MM6. I think this has been continued before, Judge. I'm going to ask for a little more indulgence on this one, another continuance. We were looking at diversion, but Mr. Sheehy's up in college in Maryland. So I'm going to maybe see if I can get with Mr. Racingo about an alternative resolution. Sure. You say no objection? No objection. 16, 9 o'clock. Thanks very much. Have a great day, sir. Thanks for taking me out of order. All right. Uh, Mr. Calderon. Good morning, Judge. Good morning, sir. Judge, I have one matter. Uh, Joseph Barube, uh, 21 CT 588. First yes, time up for Mr. Barube, just asking for a continuance with a waiver. No objection. June 16th, 9 o'clock. Thank you, Judge. Have a great day. Mr. Hollander. Good morning, Judge. I'm here on Christopher St. Martin, um, 21 CT 662. I think this is the first time up, and I'm asking for a continuance wave speedy trial. Okay. And I need a plea offer. No objection. He does not object to giving you a plea offer. All right. All right. June 16th, 9 o'clock for the waiver. Thank you. All right. Thanks, sir. All right. Mr. Calvo. Good morning, Judge Horry. Good morning, sir. Judge, um, I know these cases are old, they're both very old. Um, I've had uh, one of them, it's gonna be a plea in absentia. I'm just trying to hammer out the details. Um, I'll try and get the plea in absentia in before that next pretrial conference date with the waiver. On, uh, I'm sorry, on Mr. Contu, Eric Contu, 20 CT 1501. All right, well, there's... Hmm. Sorry? Where is, where is your client located? Well, the reason why the case is so old is because he was in custody in uh, Naples for a while, for almost six months. Then uh, they they um, 
posted the bond and he was in immigration court for another three months. And then he finally got to uh, bond out. And then we've been going back and forth on, on the appropriate plea offer based on the fact that he was in custody for six months. So he's, he is bonded out and still in the country though, and it can come to court if necessary. Correct. Why don't, why don't we set this uh, for trial call? This case really is old. Um, to set it for, for May 24th at nine o'clock for trial call. Um, you know, if you're, if, if you know, you can bring your client in person to resolve the case that day, if you wish. Um, or of course we can do a plea in absentia as well. If you, if you get the terms worked out. Is that in the morning judge? Yes, sir. Okay. May 24th. That's fine. All right. State, you ready? If, uh, if the deal is not worked out. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. So let's set this for trial call on May 24th slash plea. Um, and hopefully we can get it resolved at that time. Okay. Next one I have judges Angela Alcala, 20 CT 1840. Can we set this for the trial call on your June 30th? Just to give me enough time to make sure I'm not missing any motions or anything like that before that. Um, the, the, the trial call will be on the 28th, but the trial would be the 30th. Yeah, that's fine. Um, state, do you have your, your, your witness list for, um, June 30th? Michael? Yes, sir. Um, I, I don't, let me, let me see if I can look through real quick. There's, there's multiple victims in this case. I can't say for sure. There's three different victims. I don't know what their availability is just yet. Um, well, let's let's do this. Um, let's set it for the pretrial on the 16th, um, and then Mr. Cabo, I'll talk to Mr. Sinkin. We'll have you know a more up to date witness uh, <coughs> witness availability at that time, and we can try to move it to trial at that point. Okay. That's fine. All right, June 16th, nine o'clock for pretrial. Thank you, Judge. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. Take care. All right. Uh, Ms. Contreras, good morning. Good morning, Your Honor. I have one case, Jose Jimenez, 20 CT 2245. Hmm. Can you hear me okay? I don't want to scream because I think last time I scared you. <laughs> no. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, Your Honor, I had this case uh, when we were before you last time, uh, Mr. Rosinko amended uh, the charge to a second or subsequent, okay. and I reflected that on the plea. So I filed a new plea in absentia oh. with the correct terms or the charge. Do you want to do the plea in absentia right now? If that's okay with Your Honor. You never yelled at me. It's just that the, my, my, my speakers were turned up too high. That's all. <laughs> and I am Latina. I am very loud. So I. that's why this time I, don't, I didn't want to sound too aggressive <laughs> no, it wasn't you it was my speaker <laughs> okay because mr singer's had problems with his uh microphone in the past which yeah. um all right Let's um judge she said it was driving a second that's but the, okay the information i have is driving third it's still a misdemeanor but it's a third oh he, wow. Correct. Um, Mr. Rosinko, we discussed because my client got a license and he agreed to amend it to a second or subsequent. Okay. 
Yeah, we, we agree. Uh, we have, I agreed to amend it um, um, because there was that issue before. All okay, right. so is he amending it now? Yes, yes, yes. No, there has not been an information filed amending it to a second. So are you um, orally amending the charge? I was going to orally amend it for the plea. Very well. All right. Please do so. Uh, Your Honor, in 20 CT 2245, the state's amending the charge driving while license is suspended or revoked uh, second. All right. Um, Mr. Contreras, you're waiving any formal filing or arraignment to proceed with the plea in absentia. Yes, Your Honor. Very well. All right, give me one moment. Um, can I get the statute code for that? Uh, 322.342B what? Two. I can, I can I can only I can only go so many levels down in the subsections before I have to look it up. I got it. Um, is it the two B one or just the two B? Mr. Rosinko. It's a two B one. Okay. Very well. All right. All right, I reviewed the probable cause affidavit. I do find that there is a sufficient factual basis in venue. Uh, I'm reviewing the plea in absentia at this time. The charge is correct. There is, uh, the terms are, uh, that I see are an adjudication of guilt, time served, court costs, cost of prosecution. Mr. Sinker, are those are correct terms? Yes, Your Honor. All right, um, then the plea of center contains the correct terms as well as a complete recitation of the rights being waived by the defendant and acknowledged by the defendant by his signature before a notary. It's also signed by defense counsel. There is an attached set of legible prints. Therefore, I find the plea has been freely, knowingly, and voluntarily entered. And we'll impose sentence in just a moment. Uh, whenever you're ready, Lisa, just go ahead and please put up the, uh, the JNS screen. And you give it 90 days? Yes, 90 days to pay. see it? You know. Okay, good. <laughs> right. uh, so in 20 CT 2245 to the amended charge when well license suspended second or subsequent offense, adjudication of guilt, $220 in court costs, $50 public defender application fee, $50 cost of prosecution, time served, 90 days to pay. Good. Yes, okay. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi, Ms. Contreras. Have a good day. Thank you, Your Honor. You too. All right. Oh, yeah, I got it here. Okay. Um, Mr. Honecker. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, sir. First case I have is Yendi Hernandez Hernandez. Your Honor, I filed a plea in absentia. I will note that uh, the other, the only thing that was left off was there's no early termination. I think I had to look this up the last time to make sure it's not okay. I think it's like the Andy Hernandez that I that was a victim in a case that I prosecuted. I just want to make sure this isn't him. Very well. Okay. Nope. Definitely not him. All right. It was, it, it was quite a trial. I got to go, I got to know the guy a little too well. I wouldn't have felt comfortable presiding over his case. Understood. All right, All right. Mr. Rasinga, have you had a chance to review the plea in absentia? And do you have any objections? And it appears that this is a um, DUI with property damage. Is there a victim? And if so, were they contacted and did they have an objection to the um, victim resolution? Uh, 
Oh, the victim is the sheriff's office. Yes, Your Honor. We bumped into it. Really little advice, everybody on YouTube: Don't crash into a cop car when you've been consuming alcohol. That that doesn't. Um, the only thing I I, I don't see the um, the no ET. So. I mentioned that. I, I said that. Yeah, that's that's that's. Um, now, Mr. Honeck, the, you know, the issue of whether or not the defendant, you know, is waiving the right to petition the court for an early termination is something that we make sure that we know and agree with. Your Honor, we went over the terms. However, we for some reason we didn't put we didn't put it down in the in the. Uh, he's aware that it's no early termination. I can supplement. I can file an amended plea in absentia. All right. Um, would you mind if we if we if we did that and just uh, um, did this in two weeks? That's fine, and, and I, I'm going to have the same issue, Your Honor, with I, with my next case as well. So, if we can set both of my cases for a couple of weeks out for a plea in abstention in why both I, cases, why don't I put them on the 24th at nine o'clock? Um, you can still appear remotely. You know, plea in absentia is fine. It's just, yeah, you know, that that's not an insignificant thing that someone is is agreeing to. That's that's fine, Your Honor. Okay. Um, so, um, so for you have an in-person plea at that time, but but I can I can I can do this remotely while I'm there. Uh, it's up to you. Um, I can give you a different date if that date doesn't work for you. I can give you June 2nd instead. At 9 o'clock? Yes, sir. Uh, 9.30. 9.30 is perfect. That's fine. Right. Both, both those cases, Your Honor. Right. Um, so, yes, I'm sorry. So I've got 21 CT 207, Mr. Hernandez, and 20 CT 1864. Uh, Mr. Reyes Palomino, both cases to be set on June second at um, nine thirty for clean absentia. Yes, sir. That's fine. I'm also covering for Attorney Spiegel on T Tamra Kura. Yes, sir. Um, Twenty CT one one seven nine. Go ahead. Yes, he's requesting a continuance. Your Honor, he indicated to me that uh, he is still negotiating with the state. Where to go? Uh, I guess he been going back and forth. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, this is from June of 2020. So, Mr. Rasenko, are, are you uh, are you otherwise ready to go? Uh, one moment, please. Yeah, there's been eight previous pretrials. Yes, sir. The only, the only uh, issue I, I do have someone. If this is not going to be a trial, I do have a witness coming from Arizona. Um, so that's. I understand. Um, so I, I would have to arrange for them to, to fly in from Arizona. All right. Um, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to set this on May 24th uh, for the in-person docket. And. Um, I can't continue this if if a plea is not working at that time. We're going to specially set this um, for a trial date so the state can make travel arrangements for the witness. Um, it, you know, it won't be tried those three days because that's not enough time for the state to bring in a witness such that you know on that kind of notice. But from there, I'm going to pick a date for trial, and then we'll. You know, I'll let him know that. Yeah, so you know, let Mr. Spiegel know he's just going to have to work something out, and then you know, you know, it's either going to be pled on the 24th or on a special set. Okay. 
Thank you, Mr. Roger. I appreciate you helping him out and, and letting him know that. You're welcome. Thank you. You all have a good day. All right. Uh, Mr. Oros. Good morning. Good morning, Your Honor. And Your Honor, I have one case before the court. It's Bernard Ellerton, 20 CT 47. We were going to resolve this by plea in absentia today. I received the plea in absentia documents from Mr. Ellerton yesterday. It was e-filed uh, last night, but I don't believe it's hit the system yet. So in light of that, Your Honor, your next available court date will have it all resolved. How about the 24th? Is that, is that recording? The 24th? That will be perfect, Your Honor. Uh, May 24th, 9 o'clock for plea. Thank you for your time, Your Honor. Have a good day. Take care. Lawrence. Ms. Orange, can you hear me? All right, I'll come back to you. Um, Mr. Lefcourt. Good morning, Judge. How are you? Well, sir, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. And pleased that we have a resolution on tomorrow. Minor 21 CT 171. Yes, sir. I've got a plea in absentia filed. Um, State, do you have an opportunity to review the plea in absentia? Do you have any objections? I, uh, yes, I did review just one second. I'm just getting into it again. Yes, Your Honor, everything is correct. Your Honor, I don't know if the state has amended the charge to a non-enhanced DUI yet or not. Uh, we will need at some point, it doesn't have to be today or it can be done on the record if that's acceptable to you, but I will need at some point something emailed to me reflecting that the charge is being amended. Well, um, here's, uh, well, if it's going to be amended, it has to be amended before I accept the plea. Uh, so state are you are you doing an amendment at this time yes your honor um, uh, in 21 ct 171 the state has amended the charge to dui 0.08 and above all right um and mr Leffo, what what council local council here has found effective if your concern is with um dhs and v um is that i've had local council provide me with an order clarifying um the uh, you know, I want to ask some, some attorneys around here what they've done, but basically it's just reiterating what we've already just done, uh, that they can then have an order signed by the court acknowledging that the defendant was sentenced to a standard DUI, not the enhanced DUI, and then that order can be provided to DHS and B. Uh, I've been told that's been effective. I appreciate that. That might work a lot better than just the amended uh, complaint information. Uh, Mr. Rusinko, would you have any objections to the judge signing an ex parte order to such, or do I need to put this on calendar? Um, I have an objection to ex parte. Uh, what you can do, though, is that if you have a proposed order, I'm willing to sign it as long as you cc the state with your proposed order. <laughs> I won't need a hearing on the matter. I'm happy to do it if it's just an order clarifying that this is what the defendant was sentenced to. Just please <laughs> cc the state. Uh, that sounds perfect, Judge. Thank you. All right. Um, so otherwise... Uh, Are we doing the plea today or a different day? I'm doing it now. Oh, so it's going to be a minute to DUI first? Right. DUI, DUI first without the enhancement of the plea in five. Is that okay. correct? Mr. Zink, is that correct? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Oh. All right, I have reviewed the probable cause affidavit. I do find that there is a sufficient factual basis in venue. I've considered the colloquy and find, I'm sorry, I've considered the plea in absentia and find that there is a correct um, recitation of the terms of the plea as indicated by the stipulation of the state attorney. There is a complete recitation of the rights being waived by the defendant. I don't see a, oh, there's the fingerprints. The, the a set of uh, fingerprints has been attached. They are legible. Therefore, I find the plea has been freely, knowingly, and voluntarily entered. I'll accept the plea. And um, Lisa, once you get the um, the terms entered, I don't know the terms. They're they're on the they're on the plea in absentia. 
Oh, I can't get into it. I need it read out to me. I'm sorry. No problem. Uh, I've got an adjudication of guilt. Mm -hmm. A $1,000 fine. Okay. Six month license suspension. Okay. It's probation. How much? 12? It means probation. Um, With early termination after six months upon successful completion. Uh, may petition the court for early termination. Not automatic? Uh, it's not written as automatic in the terms that have been approved by Mr. Rosinko, but uh, the state would not object at the very least. Uh, the terms are, and I'm quoting letter C, 12 months probation with early termination after six months upon successful completion of the terms. Whether or not that's automatic is completely within your domain, Your Honor. Um, I typically do not do um, automatic termination, but you can always file a motion um, requesting early termination. Perfect, Judge. Thank you. Um, 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 standard alcohol provisions, a um, substance abuse evaluation, recommended treatment, random testing, 50 hours community service, DUI school, victim impact panel, 10 days of mobilization, and then uh, all standard costs. There's a specific provision here saying that the state attorney has agreed the defendant may travel to Long Creek, North Carolina from May 14th to May 19th. And I don't mind putting that in the judgment and sentence so there's no issue with uh, with probation because it's coming up very soon. Quickly, yes. Thank you, Judge. Okay. And since I've already accepted the plea, um, I'm going to say that what I just said uh, is the sentence being imposed by the court. So I don't have to repeat everything again. I just want to make sure that, that it's still correct in the JMS. Okay, Judge, let's see how it looks. All right. Um, what I did not specifically state were the uh, core costs. Core costs, the amount of $388, $1,000 fine. There was also a $50 cost of prosecution. Everything else looks correct. Uh, I will clarify when I said uh, alcohol provisions, meaning uh, may not possess or consume any alcoholic beverages, no entering bars, taverns, saloons, pubs, lounges, or packet stores, or any other uh, establishments whose primary purpose is to sell alcohol, no beverages in the residence. Your Honor, uh, I'm sorry if I'm not familiar with the terms. Uh, she works at a nightclub. Ah, um, then uh, except for employment purposes. If that, can, if that needs to be put into the final order, fine. If not, I... It does. I can clarify and, and give an exception for employment purposes. Thank you, Judge. Yep. Okay, it's in there, Judge. There we go. Thank you for bringing that to my attention, sir. Thank you. 
All right. Otherwise, I think everything's correct. You both agree? Um, it's perfect, Josh. <laughs> we we strive for perfection. All right, Mr. Do you agree everything is correct in the JNS? All right. All right. Thank you both. Thank you, Mr. Rapcourt. Have a good day. Uh, you'll thank get you as well. And Mr. Rusinko, thank you uh, for uh, working so well with me on this case. And thank so you, you. you'll get me that proposed order then whenever, if you want me to do that for you. My wife is acting as my legal secretary. I can't rush her, but I'll do my best. <laughs> thank Have you. a great day, Judge. You too. All right. Uh, Mr. LeVay. Yes, good morning, Your Honor. How are you today? Good morning, sir. Excellent. Um, I have one matter before Your Honor. It is Carlos Jones Vasquez. Yes. Seth Levana's behalf. I've been working with Mr. Rosinko on this, Judge. Um, we have come to what will be a resolution. Um, we just need to hammer out some final details. It's going to be a, a weekend jail plea, uh, but my client has a job and he's trying to just coordinate with his job, the times and, and his scheduling, and to tie up some other loose matters um, with his family so that he can make this as easy of a, a transition as possible. Um, I would be asking for 30 to 45 days for a change of plea. Let's do that. Um, so this is uh, 20MM 1938 and 20MM 1897. Um, I'm sorry, 20MM 1938 and 20CT 2341, excuse me. Um, if the terms are otherwise pretty much agreed upon, I have no problem uh, giving a, a, a later start date for the weekend work if that's the issue that's a hold up. I'd rather resolve the case, get through the plea, and if he needs an extra 30 to 45 days to begin the weekend lockdown portion, I have no problem with that. Um, so my preference would be to set this for a plea on May 24th, you know, in a couple of weeks, do the plea. That's fine. As long as the state's otherwise in agreement for, you know, a, a later begin date of the jail, we can do that. That works with me. No objection, Your Honor. All right, May 24th, 9 o'clock, both cases for a plea. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks Be well. Sir. Always a pleasure. Okay, sir. Bye -bye. All right, Mrs. Roger. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I have just two cases this morning. The first one, Your Honor, is Blake Holmes. Uh, I'm actually not available during your trial cycle this time around, so we could either set it directly to your trial cycle next period, or I would just ask to put it on the next pretrial conference with a waiver. All right, so uh, Mr. Holmes, 20CT2142, you're asking, you, you want to set it for trial? Yes, Judge, but I'm just not available. You have very limited time this month, so we could set it directly to the next one if Mr. Rosinko is comfortable with that, or we can just put it on the next pretrial for and see if his witnesses are available for the next trial cycle. If you want to take a look and see if you've got uh, availability, it would, it would be easier just to set it directly to the trial call. Yes, sir. That'd be fine, Judge. I am available. Uh, oh, let me just uh, yeah, check one more thing. Um, yes, I am available to the, the next trial cycle. All right. So we'll set it for trial call on June 28th at nine o'clock with you know a trial to begin potentially you know the 30th, 31st, or uh, I'm sorry, the 30th or the 1st or 2nd of July. 
That's fine, Your Honor. And then the last case I have with you is Lynn Jennings, case number 21-716-CT. Your Honor, that's a new case, and I'm still receiving discovery from the state attorney's office uh, regarding that case, so I would move to continue with a waiver of speedy trial for her. No objection? No objection, Your Honor. Nine o'clock. Thank you, Your Honor. That's all I have. Okay. Have a good day. Mr. Vitale, good morning. Good morning, Your Honor. Judge, I have uh, Carlene St. Hilaire, 20MM421. Judge, this, um, Ms. Hilaire, um, I haven't had any contact with her. Um, Ms. Hilaire is, was homeless at the time of her arrest, so her nothing appears on the booking sheet. She was released on her own recognizance, so there's no bondsman to contact. All of her notices have come back were sent general delivery to Immokalee and they've all been returned uh, for the last year. So I just obtained a phone number for her uh, from the public defender. The, the PD that had the case before is no longer there. She's up in Fort Myers, which is probably why she didn't get back to me. But um, I've just recently received the number. I've left a message from Ms. Hilaire. So I, I know the case is old. Um, and in this particular case, you know, the reason she was our artist because she'd been keeping herself for many months. Right. You know, there was, it was time for her not to be sitting in jail anymore, especially since I could not provide her with a trial at the time. Um, so, so I'll, I'll do whatever you want, Judge. I, I guess if you want to set it to, to try to get it over with and resolve, we can do that. You want to put it on a status or not a status, but something else, a calendar call or something like that. That's fine. But, um, you know, we don't have any notice for her either. So. I'm a little hesitant to ask for that. I understand. I understand. Let's do this. Um, let's set it for a plea on May 24th, and I'll let you try to use that phone number and and try to contact her. Okay. Um, I am going to order that the defendant be present. You know, and you can do your best to try to make contact with her and get her to the courtroom so we can try to resolve her case one way or another. Yes, sir. Um, you know, if you're uns, we can talk about it, and you can let me know what you feel. Of course. All right. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. That, that's with the waiver, Judge. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. <laughs> okay, sir. I think we waived several times before, but thank you, sir. You're welcome. Yeah. All right, Mr. Fleming. Good morning, sir. Are you there? Fleming? Ah, there you are. Good morning, Your Honor. All right, thank you for your patience. Uh, all right, gentlemen, uh, I, I'm about 90% done with the order on the stay in your ground motion. I just had to put a few finishing touches on it. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, I, will, I wanna be careful that when I quote the witnesses that they are precise quotes and I just wanna make sure everything is proper um, for that type of hearing. Uh, so I'm sorry I didn't get it done before today. Uh, I'll have to roll this one time. Um, you will certainly have an order well in advance of the next pretrial, and uh, that way you will inform you of how to proceed on the case, okay? So I'm sorry, I just couldn't get it done. I, I really have been working on it. Um, it's close, <laughs> all right? Understood, yeah. All right, um, so let's set this on June 16th at nine o'clock, and like I said, I, I, I promise you, you will have an order before that date. Hopefully I won't see you then, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Tony. Thank you. All right. Um, <laughs> Mr. Moffitt, can you unmute, please? Morning, Judge. How are you, sir? Good morning. Judge, I have Andrew Reeve, 21 CT 497. Judge, um, I believe Mr. Rosinko is going to provide me with an additional witness. Uh, I'll request a continuance with the waiver. Uh, state no objection? No objection. June 16th, 9 o'clock. Thank you for your patience, sir. Thank you, Judge. Take care. Mr. Rahib. Morning, Judge. Sorry if you called me earlier. I was uh, two or three different appearances. I apologize. Um, on Mr. Pacheco, Judge, we finally got the video from the gas station. Mr. Rosinko, uh, 
the prosecutor is just going to speak to his arresting officer before he makes any kind of decision, which we hope will be what we're looking for. So we're going to both agree to continue it one more time. Uh, and then I'll wave speedy, so it doesn't matter. He can wave, I'll wave, makes no difference. He just has to uh, check one thing with his officer and it's a second degree misdemeanor, no prior history. Yes, okay. the state can ask for a continuance. I, 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 I did review the video and I just, I wanna verify uh, something with the offer, uh, officer before I make my final decision. That's fine. All right, uh, since parties are agreeing, June 16th, nine o'clock for pretrial. June 16th, thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Hey, Judge. Good morning. Good morning, Your Honor. Uh, Judge, I'm covering one for Miss Orange, which I should do first before I forget. Sure. Um, it's 20 mm 1766. Okay. I did, Williams. I did call her while she was still on with us. You did, Judge. I, my understanding is she has a depot, uh, a felony depot starting now, so I'm not sure what happened, but she had to go. Well, that's fine. All right, go ahead. What does she want? To Judge, uh, it's a diversion offer, and he plans to accept diversion. She just needs a, another pretrial to schedule a meeting with Mr. Cruz, but it should fall off the docket before then, That's and fine. I'm authorized to waive. All right, stay. No objection. Nine o'clock. And, Your Honor, my case is, um, sorry, trying to find the case number right now, Judge. Uh, CT452, Gregorio Canales Fuentes. It is, Your Honor. Thank you. The state yesterday filed a written null process on the DUI count. All that remains is the no valid DL judge. We do uh, plan to accept the state's offer um, in writing. Uh, Mr. Canales doesn't live in Collier County, and I just need some time to do that. I believe it's a first time. Out. Okay. Um, with a waiver? With a waiver, Judge. No objection? No objection, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. That's all I have. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. You too. All right. Um, Mr. McGann, good morning. Good morning, Judge. I've got uh, Javier Lou uh, Knippi. Go with that. Yeah, Knippi. 496. Yes, sir. This is the first time up we're asking to continue with the waiver of speech. I'll still working on getting a video to review that with them. No problem. State? No objection, Your Honor. 16th, 9 o'clock. Thank you for your patience, sir. Oh, yeah, no worries. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. All right. Good morning. Good morning, Your Honor. In the courthouse. I'm sorry? In the courthouse. Yes, I'm in the courthouse. I tried to just open your door, but it was locked. I'm in front what, of Judge Foster. What floor are you on? I'm on two right now. I know where you are. Can I come in? Yeah. All right, I'll be right there. Thank you. All right. Um, Lisa, did we address Dean Ashton Arnold two cases with Mr. Verderami? Yes, I was just getting ready to dispo it now. What's that? I was just getting ready to dispo the case now. Okay. I just fell a little behind with you guys. I'm sorry, if you needed me to, to, to pause, I, I could have done that. Do you, need, do you need me to take a moment and let you get, let you get caught up? I'm okay. Thank okay. you, though. You don't have to be shy. You can, you can, you can tell me you need a moment. I'm, I'm good. Judge, you know I'm not shy. <laughs> no, I don't know that. I figured you would tell me if you need me to stop. <laughs> All right, Ms. Mauer, good morning. Good morning. You're not late. I'm still here. Yeah, You're only late. late if you miss me. I told myself when I was coming for the seat. She's oh, good. still waiting for that. Busy day over there, too? There. Okay. Um, and I'm fine. I have a report. Um, okay. Uh, this is 20 mm 1897. That one I just received an amended offer yesterday. So if I can have a continuance for the waiver, I'll probably do it now. All right. State no objection. No objection, Your Honor. Uh, June 16th, 9 o'clock with a waiver. Have Victoria in the house. Okay. Uh, 21 CT 402. And asking for a continuance for the waiver. State. No objection, Your Honor. 
and fifteen time clock with a waiver. Uh, Sebastian Lagos Varela, twenty mm one nine three two. Oh, Mr. Rosinto, I sent you an email on him this morning. I believe we're waiting to hear back from the victim in the case regarding the offer. Yes, yeah, so there's two victims in the case, and uh, they both speak Spanish. So I, I just need to. Uh, uh, Miss Maurer did give me a, a counter offer, which I still need to uh, finish discussing with them. Okay. All right. So you you, you all need a little more time working this. All right. Um, request for continuance. Yes, please. June 16th, nine o'clock for the waiver. Yes, for the waiver. Okay. And then I've got Miss Upson's cases. Miss Upson has three cases on the docket. Yes. All of them, she would like to put on a trial docket. But okay. she has a conflict with this crime cycle. She's in a felony trial, so uh, if it goes. So could well, we set them for trial on the next trial cycle? Where where is she set for, for trial? She didn't tell me. Oh. Because what I'd like to do is put her on the trial call, and then if the felony trial doesn't go, she can maybe well, have a trial with me. Um, I, know I, I would certainly give her felony trial a priority, obviously. But. I understand. I know that at least one of them now. She said she has a pre-trial motion that she has to file that's not in there yet. So the, the next trial cycle would be beneficial. All right. And everything gets completed before we're at trial each. All right. Okay. These cases are... She knows. That's why she's ready to set them. She just needs that motion filed and... Uh, doesn't want to end up with a conflict on her services. All right. Appreciate it. All right. So, uh, Lisa, for Thomas Bohm, mm -hmm. 20 CT 873, Fred Shifflett, 20 CT 1447, and Michael Simonetti, 20 CT 2586, all three cases, June 16th, 9 o'clock, for a pretrial conference. Final okay. continuance on all three. Okay, and what is the, what are, I'm going to text her, what are the trial dates for that cycle? The you next know? cycle is going to be June 28th is the trial call, okay. with the trial days being the 30th of June or the 1st or 2nd of July. Okay. Um, and I'm, and I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to push I'll next time around. Okay. Thank All right. You. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. All right, and the last ones I've got are with Miss Fish. Uh, Mr. Rosinka, I don't know if she CC'd you on this, but she sent an email to Sarah at 10.30 last night asking for a continuance on Jahan Hajani, 20CT1143, um, saying that she has depositions for a felony case that she had apparently forgotten about. And and Your Honor, if I may, in that case, uh, she has scheduled a motion to suppress in June. Um, so uh, she had sent me the stipulation, which I did sign yesterday afternoon because we still need to do the, that motion to suppress. Um, and she was going to be unavailable this morning. All right. All right. Um, so the motion to suppress is scheduled to be heard June 22nd at 1.30. Let's set the pretrial at the same time. And then what about Christopher Spain Allen, also Miss Fish, 1813? Uh, we didn't have any discussions pertaining to today's hearing um, regarding this case. All right. Um, would you be ready for trial, State? Uh, one moment, please, Your Honor. Um, I do have um, an officer out um, the 24th to the 28th. Oh, okay. So we, we let's see.
Oh. So that whole week. All right, I'm still gonna sit on the 24th um, for status. And we'll see what she wants to do. Thank you. All right, does that, is that everybody? I believe so. Let's see, I've got a couple, two o'clock. All right. All right.